My name is Duddy, so I do builds and stuff. Today I want to share with you my rule of this Tusk of the Ball, the brand new insane strand wave frame grenade launcher from the Iron Banner. This thing is absolutely immense. I love it. I want to share with you my rule that I got and I really, really love it. And it's right up there with forbearance, guys. Trust me, you leave a lot of this. Oh, it's as good as forbearance. It really is. Stay with me. I'll show you why. But this thing's absolutely awesome. And it's perfect for Strand Titans and a couple of other builds as well. But here we go. Tusk of the Boar. It is a Strand wave frame. 72 rounds per minute from the Iron Banner. This is the rule I got on man. I got a couple of them, but this one stands out for me. Envious Assassin. Defeating targets with other weapons before joining this one transfers ammo from the reserve. This effect can overflow the magazine. And he also got a swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. It's a 33% damage increase and it also works like rampage. You can keep extending it per kill with your grenade launcher as well. So envious assassin and swashbuckler for 33% damage increase. It's also got origin traits on there, skulking wolf. And the other one that it's got on there is field tested. But what we're going to do is concentrate on the swashbuckler for the first part. So this weapon gains increased weapon damage from melee kills. 33%. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Get a melee kill on something like a strand titan. That is absolutely cakewalk to do even in end game content. So you're, walking, you're a walking 33% damage increase on this wave frame. But with the strand subclass thread of propagation... Powered melee final blows grant your strand weapons unraveling rounds. Also unraveling orbs, whenever we pick up an orb, we're going to get unraveling rounds. So you get where I'm going, we're going to add unraveling rounds to this infinitely, very, very easily. And because we've got a swashbuckler going, it's an absolutely perfect, perfect combo. Thread of propagation to get your unraveling rounds. And a 33% damage increase on the wave frame. Quick melee kill, very easy to do. And you've got unraveling rounds. Unraveling rounds are absolutely underrated. Really, really strong. Right up there with chain reaction. Uh, if not better in my opinion. Because they will track targets like that. They always remind me of like a wolf pack rounds on the Galahorn. I did a video recently on a rocket launcher with Swashbuckler as well. Which I will link. But just having these little mini uh, unraveling rounds. Uh, unraveling rounds that are like wolf pack rounds it's just extra damage plus like i said you've got that 33 percent from the swashbuckler and with the unraveling orbs and thread of propagation you can infinitely just keep these unraveling orbs going i've also got envious assassin on there uh, i did say that at the beginning but basically i'll just show you what this does if you don't know you can overflow the magazine if you get kills with other weapons Get like two or three kills, couple of motor kills, something like that, and then switch to your strand grenade launcher, and you will get three or four in the magazine. I think three is the maximum now with Envious Assassin, but three in the magazine just feels really, really nice. So you can just one, two, three, fire infinitely, three in rapid succession once you've got that melee kill, or picked up an orb of power to get them unraveling rounds going. But just diving into a little bit more of the strand titan specifically uh with banner of war things like that once you've got that proc like so these unraveling orbs and the extra damage that you get is just going to help your banner of war even more you'll start getting kills that you don't know you're getting and all of a sudden your banner of war will go up from one to two because of the unraveling rounds so it's really really exceptional for banner of war so it's a really good little mix and again, just a few clips to show you working in sort of a dungeon. I did want to try it in the GM, but just this week, this particular GM isn't really suited to strand uh, wave frames at the moment, just because there's no strand burn on there, and it's a pretty awful GM. But it feels absolutely awesome. Uh, didn't really not notice so much difference when I was comparing it to forbearance. Uh, I just found the unraveling rounds really, really makes a big difference. So, I'll go over the other possible rules. We've got Envious Assassin, Grave Robber, Slice, Enlightened Action, Sladways, and Pulse Monitor on the first column. On the second column, we've got Hatchling, Chain Reaction, Bait and Switch, Swashbuckler, Vorpal, and Deconstruct. Uh, apparently, Deconstruct isn't working as well as what people thought. It doesn't give you the infinite sort of reloads. But some really good pet combos there to to pick from uh, i really like this one i'm also gonna show you a slice one tomorrow i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching have a great day